writing hundreds of pages in a business plan doesn't really make sense for two reasons. First of all, nobody's going to read that plan because it's too long and it's not crisp enough. Secondly, once you finish the plan, the environment will have changed. Everything changes so fast that you will have to readapt the plan once it has been written. My name is Armin El Rao, I'm the founder of Elena Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I help entrepreneurs to become better leaders. If you want to learn about leadership for entrepreneurs, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button underneath this video and stay tuned. This video is about how to write a business plan. First point, what is a business plan? Now a business plan is a document that describes why your business it describes your business and essentially it describes why your business makes sense. So it describes first of all why there is an opportunity in the market or why a problem exists that you can solve. Secondly, how you will solve it. Number three, with whom? Who is your team? Number four, what is your strategy to be successful? And number five, what are the funds that you need to make your business happen? So what does that mean for your business plan? What do you need to put into your business plan? So first of all, you will describe the what. What is the mission, the what, for whom, how and why of your business? See my related video to that. And also describe what your value proposition is. Here you can also see a related video on that in this channel. Second chapter of the business plan, describe why it makes sense to offer what you're offering. Prove that there is a real problem. Prove that, prove that your solution actually solves that problem. You can also address an existing problem and show how you can make the solution faster, cheaper or better. That's also a possibility in an existing market. Uh, I've, got an, I've, got a related, I've got a video on Richard Branson who actually chose intentionally existing markets and look for opportunities to do things better, cheaper or faster. And always remember there's no point in offering something unless the market is interested. It is absolutely useless to have a great idea if you don't have the market. So this second chapter to prove that there is a market for your product is of tremendous importance. Number three, your team. Many, many entrepreneurs think that the solution and the technicality of that solution is so important. That is not the case. Most investors actually will look at your team. Do you have the right people with the right strengths and the right roles? And the, the how can I say, the, the composition of the team is, a, is the key success factor, factor for the success of your business. So describe your team, describe the strengths of these people and why are, they are in the roles that you have chosen them for. <clears throat> then number three in your business plan, when you want to grow and you want extra money, for example, show to whom you have already sold it. It is absolutely important to have a, first, a few first references. Yes, there are seed investors. I'm addressing specifically entrepreneurs who already have a team who want to go to the next stage and they have to prove uh, they have to prove uh, with whom they have already delivered value and what references they have. That uh, uh, tremendously increases their probability of getting the funds. Chapter number five is the strategy. So how do you want to go forward? What is your strategy to grow further, to, to make this business big? What is your basic strategy? Do you want to go for efficiency first, for the best processes? Or at standardization? Do you want to go for custom-made solutions for every customer or do you want to be the number one in your product or service? That has to be clarified. What are the major milestones in your roadmap to success and what are the objectives quantitatively and qualitatively that you want to achieve in the next two to three years? The sixth chapter then is about the funds. So you put up a budget and you say, okay, in order to do that, I have to invest, say, in product development. So I have to employ three more software developers and I have to invest in marketing and sales. I need four more people there. And 
I don't know, more technology, a bigger office or whatsoever. So you have to explain now how much money you need, why you need it, and you will also have to explain what the return is going to be. So what are the revenues that, go that you, that the profits that you're going to generate and the cash flow so that you can actually deliver a real business case and by that motivate your investors to put more money into your company. Now, the ideal business plan is actually not 100 pages, not 50 pages, it's actually one page. And how to get this on one page? Well, a few tricks for that. First of all, bullets, bullets, bullets. Make it short, crisp, not full sentences. Uh, put these chapters on one page. Then in a Word document, you can actually, you can actually have thin, the thin uh, borders on the page in the, in, in the layout. Put in diagrams. Uh, make the font smaller, for example, not to 12, but to 9. These are a few simple tricks on how to put this business plan on one page so that your investors can read them very fast and also come to, let's say, a gut decision after having had this so-called teaser. A great business plan is punchy and short and it delivers the information to your investors that they need. It's not 100 pages long, you can actually put it on one page. The LIFE program actually teaches you how to write a great business plan and many, many other methods, tools, tips and tricks you will learn in the LIFE program. So if you have a similar challenge, writing your business plan, putting the numbers together, trying to prove that your solution actually makes sense, please write me a WhatsApp to the number that is now appearing on the screen and we can have a chat about it. And let's see if I can help you. It would be really great. Thanks for having me. I look forward to the next videos with you, for you. And here we go. This was Armin Rao, the founder of A. Leonard Rao, today from Paris. And don't forget, lead yourself.